Hey guys, what's up? JWisp here and welcome to episode 13 of the Minecraft 1.17 Hardcore Survival Let's Play. Here we are back in the underground cave village. I've done a little bit of work down here. So far, we've only really made two separate houses. We have this village house here and we have the villager breeder. Now off camera what I did was I was trying to mess around with some pathway designs just so I can start detailing this a bit before I add some more houses and I've kind of come up with this design. Overall, I tend to like it. I think I might adjust it more in the future because I'm not entirely sure but it uses a lot of cobbled deep slate, uh, stone buttons as well as black stone buttons to sort of act like rocks. I have a lot of glow lichen around here. It was tough to find a lot of glow lichen but if you use some shears, you can get some just exploring caves. As you can see, I have these uh, deep slate stone walls that look really good with these lanterns. And I think this pathway overall looks pretty nice. I've been working on it a bit, but I might do some more in the future. Lots of glow lichen everywhere and lots of lanterns because obviously we are underground. And so we need lots of light. And I wanted to come up with alternative light solutions besides just putting torches absolutely everywhere. Like you can see, I have so many torches. And so slowly, little by little, I want to work on having less torches and more of different light sources. But besides that, we also worked on some stuff in the overworld. We did a lot of really cool work on some farms we had, actually. It was really fun. It was really awesome. We made a creeper gunpowder farm, and we also made a sugarcane farm, both of which were really big, really giant, and are, is giving me tons of loot and tons of drops. And so I've worked a bit off camera also on decorating them a bit more than I did in the last episode. I decorated them quite a bit in the last episode, but I didn't decorate them a lot. And I've done a lot of detailing work with it, and I want to show it off because I think it looks really cool. We have this whole little region around here where everything's made of like deep slate and blackstone, and I think it looks really nice. So I've made it this before. We made this sort of entrance to the cave base village, and I think this looks really cool. But then over there, we have the sugarcane farm, and then we have the gunpowder farm, and both of which I think look absolutely awesome. The sugarcane farm, I don't like as much as the gunpowder farm, but I did a lot of work on the gunpowder farm. I think it looks really cool. As you can see, we have a lot of sugarcane for paper, and then we have hopefully some gunpowder in the chest because I did AFK in the AFK thing up there. But yeah, here's the design for it. I added these sort of light posts like I did over there. I want to add more of these in my underground village. I just haven't had the opportunity to yet. And then I made just a little uh, sort of, I don't know, gate door system just like this with some sticky pistons just to protect the entrance to where I go and grab. Oh, we have lots of gunpowder. The entrance to where I go and grab the gunpowder. I haven't really hit a lot of the redstone. It's still kind of still kind of messy, but <laughs> for the most part, I think we're all set. Let's fix this, this trap door because it doesn't look the best. But I'm pretty proud of this. I think this area looks pretty nice. I added some glass so you can see the creepers coming and also a staircase just so I could get up here. I have more uh, campfires here. I think the smoke looks really cool. And I'll actually fly up. What I've done is this whole area I just sort of outlined with a wall. Just a wall. Uh, I'll eventually add a good looking village wall around here. I just want to do this uh, temporarily to sort of mark out this area. This is where most of my farms will be in this sort of area. I want a lot of these farms to be in a similar style. And then I'll probably have other areas outside. What I actually want to work on in this episode is a bit of a farm area. We've built a lot with a deep slate in this world, but we haven't built with much else. And so I just want some more normal builds, which I'll probably build over there or over there. Something like that. But we will definitely have a lot more farms around here. I want to uh, definitely have an automatic cooked chicken farm, as well as a few other farms I think could look really good. So I'm really excited. I think this is coming along really nicely. And I think this especially, the gunpowder farm, looks really cool. In the future, I might add some more floors to it. But for now, I think we're all set. And the village underground is definitely starting to come along. Now that I sort of have an idea of what I want to do with pathways, I think we'll start adding more village houses and eventually get this underground village to really come to life. Okay, so we have the setup here. I pretty much flattened out this big area. There was a bunch of grass and it gives us a nice area to work with. What I want to do first is make myself some stables because if you look back to the earlier episodes, we actually have two horses at our old house and I've never made a place for them to live. And so what I want to do is make some stables, bring them over here. I also want to eventually make a barn and a big farm around here, all that stuff. So it's going to be pretty close to this, uh, you know, sort of industrial area with the deep slate and blackstone. However, uh, pretty, why did I place that there? Uh, pretty soon what I'll do is 
again, make a bigger wall so it won't look as ugly being so close to it. And then over here, I'll have some sort of a farming district. And I'll try to move some villagers up all... Oh. Well, we got a villager right there, at least a zombie villager. I'll try to move some villagers up around here. But what I did in the chest was pretty much get all the materials I need. I left the gunpowder and sugarcane in my chest after I grabbed the chests. But I grabbed some water buckets to act as a lawnmower to sort of get the grass out of here. And then I got all of the blocks I pretty much thought I would need. I have some torches, and then I, after I brought the torches, I realized lanterns might be a nicer light source for this. Uh, I have some barrels too. I might use them. Cobblestone, oak wood spruce logs and stuff like that and i think overall we can hopefully make some stables that look pretty good so what i'm probably going to do i don't have an idea of what i want in my head i'm just going to kind of wing it start making some stables that i think look pretty good so i'm going to get a general shape from this and sort of build it up from there and show you guys the process so i think i have the general size here i just started with some barrels for the bottom of these pillars and then some oak logs on top and i have all of these spaced five blocks apart so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then on this side, I have it spaced 10 blocks apart, just so that it's a big rectangle. And my plan for this is to have one, two, three separate little stable stalls where I can have horses. One of them, you know, I might have a donkey or mule, or maybe I'll put sheep or cows or something like that inside of there. I think it'll look pretty cool. Okay, so here we go. I added a bit onto the pillars. I added some fences. I added some more pillars to the front, and here's the roof design. I used a little bit of the uh, spruce slabs I had on the outside, and then on the inside of the ceiling, I added some oak. And I think it looks really good. I think what'll really make this place come alive, though, is once we add some detail. Yeah, these stables look all right, but they don't look amazing. And so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to add things like a lot of hay blocks around here. I wanna add some water, maybe. Uh, potentially, what else? I could add some, let's see, I, I'll definitely add some paths around here, like definitely uh, some of these, you know, path blocks like this just for some detail. Maybe add some gravel, some stones, stuff like that, like some stone buttons just to act as stones. And I think overall, once we add all those things, this should eventually look pretty dang awesome. I think we can get this thing to look really good. I'll probably try to grab some more hay blocks if I can get some, but after we do some detailing work, I'm sure this will look really awesome. And here we have the stables. I added a lot of detail as you can see, and I think it looks pretty good. So of course, I added the path blocks, like I said, added some gravel. I didn't have too much gravel, so I couldn't add a ton. Uh, we have some stone buttons here, and of course, for the finishing touch of everything I build, bone mealed the heck around the outside. Eventually, this whole area will be bone mealed with flowers and grass, but I always like to break the default grass and bone meal my builds afterwards, because breaking the glass, the grass, it gives me a flat area to work with. And also, once you bone meal, you can add a lot of flowers, which looks pretty. Now, I also added a lot of hay around here, which I think looks really good, because obviously the horses will have to eat hay. Um, but I ran into an issue because I thought, oh, the horses could jump on top of the hay and then escape. So what I did was I just added spruce slabs on top of the hay, and I actually don't think it looks that bad. I think it looks all right. You know, it's, it's, it serves a functional purpose. And of course, we have the lanterns around here just to add a little bit of light to the farm. And I think it looks good. I have even some hay on the outside. I might make a sort of offshoot on the side as like a hay storage area where I can store some hay. But for the most part, I think this looks really good. The only thing we have to do now is actually get the horses in here. All right, so here we have the horses. Now I only have these two horses. I don't even have names for them yet, but I think they look pretty good. Now I don't know if I have more saddles. I'll need to check. I think I might have one or two more saddles. I know I definitely have horse armor, but I would like to tame another horse and eventually put it here just so we have all three stalls of the stables filled up. I think it would look really nice. But we have these two horses and overall, I think these stables look nice. I think they look really good. They really come to life with the horses inside. And I'll definitely try to, in the future, get some villagers around here and make it look even livelier. I think what I'll probably do is maybe over here or right next to it, build some sort of barn and also a pretty large wheat field. Like I was saying, I want this area to be a sort of farming district and then over here we'll have this industrial district and to sort of separate them obviously you know this i'll eventually build up this wall i'll probably use actual blocks and make it look nice and then i'll probably you know maybe fence off the farming area too but i think it looks really good i'm proud of this i think it looks really nice so i've decided to add the wheat farm and what i was going to do originally was just leave it like this 
But I think it would look better if we added some details around it. So I grabbed some leaves from my chest, some more oak wood and fences that I had just right over there. And I think we can make this look really good. What I've never tried to do is use leaves around a farm. Um, I usually just use fences or sometimes I'll use cobblestone walls, stuff like that. But lately I've seen a lot of people use leaves and so I want to mess around with it. I think it can look pretty good. I eventually want to have a lot of different farms around this area and so I think we can probably make this look pretty good. I'll use these, you know, oak pillars to sort of act as like the entrance area, just like this. Uh, let's see, something along the lines of that, probably pretty good. This is the official entrance. And then I'll have some more leaves like around here, stuff like this. Um, let's see, maybe like, maybe like that. And then eventually I'll also build up this wall a bit, make some of these leaves two blocks high, stuff like that, just to add some variance and make this look pretty nice. Okay, I think this is coming along. I'm a fan of this. I think we can make this look good. I should have brought some shears so that I could uh, mess with this a bit more. And then what I'll do is uh, just occasionally add some oak logs instead of leaves or oak logs along with the leaves just to, you know, make sure it looks good. Plus, you have to add oak logs so that uh, <laughs> the leaves won't disintegrate and go away. You need some oak logs here and there to make this area look nice. I'll also keep adding some leaves, I guess, on top of some of these oak logs to make it look good. And then also intermediately, just throughout this area, I do want to add a few fences. I think if we add some fences, it'll look really nice. So maybe just like fences here and there, something like this, just to sort of complete this. And I think this will probably look pretty nice. Let's see. I don't want to place it on top of that. I'm going to need a few more fences. Let's see. Let's work with what we have for now. I'll place one more fence there. How does this look overall? Okay, this looks decent. It doesn't look great, but we can add more to this and make it look better. I don't want this wall to be too two-dimensional, so I'll probably add some more leaves just popping out like this so the wall isn't totally flat, and it should help it look a little bit better. I'll make some more fences, finish up this wall, and make it look really good. All right, and there we have the farm. Of course, once you bone meal everything around an area, it looks 10 times better, but I added a similar path going in with the stone buttons, gravel, and path blocks. Uh, I also added more fences, more leaves, more oak wood, as well as just some wooden buttons around this, and I think it really completes it. It helps this area look really nice. I think this looks like a good little wall around this small farm, and I'll probably have a few of these scattered around the area. I think right around here, I do want to have a pretty big barn, maybe like right here, and then I'll probably put a few more of these small farms around here. But for now, this one looks pretty good. Once I get some villagers in this area, I'll probably like right here or something plop a barrel so that we can actually have villagers working in this farm, but I think this looks pretty cool. And uh, a little life hack if you don't know, with 1.13, they made it so that you could add water in the little gap of a stair. And so with my farms, I always add stairs and then put the water inside of the stair. That way, you can just walk right over it. You don't have to deal with annoying slabs, which don't look good. And once this farm grows up, you know, and all the wheat is at its full height, uh, it'll sort of block the stair and you won't even notice it. But yeah, I think that looks really cool and this farming area is really coming together. Anyways, guys, that's all for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed today, and hopefully you could find some things useful. If you want to use these builds or get inspiration from them, definitely go ahead. That's why I do this. That's why I make builds. That's what I enjoy doing. And I'm really proud of this. I think it looks good. I just needed a break from the underground. We've been doing a lot of underground builds or a lot of deep slate builds. I wanted to sort of, you know, refresh my abilities and work with some other blocks. And I think this looks really good. I'm sure once we get more of these farms and a barn going, that this area will look really nice but if you guys did enjoy please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing it really does help me out and if you guys have any suggestions or anything you want to say to me let me know down in the comments below i try to respond to as many as i can but that's all for today's episode this is jay wisp and i will see you guys all in the next one